guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today's topic is going to be the last and final topic about my hospitalization, hopefully. Yeah, so praying that I do not get any more hospitalization. Okay, so continue on from last time I went for my surgery, all these things, okay? So, yep. Um, so far, the surgery was successful and then I think I have fully healed from the surgery and then uh, uh, yeah, just no like cycling or like whatever till like, next year. Okay, so other than that, uh, everything else is fine and I'm healthy. Okay, I think. Okay, so if you uh, yeah, I'll be showing you uh, also how to get money from your hospitalization insurance. Yes, you heard me right. Even though hospitalization insurance is a reimbursement plan, right? You can get money from your hospitalization plan. But I'm not sure if all insurers offer this. From what I know, only AIA offers this. But I think a few other insurers offer this. But I have no idea which other insurers. So yeah, here goes. Okay, so this is the summary of all my bills and then uh, hopefully there won't be any more bills, okay? So yeah, uh, previously continued from last time, I went for this surgery on the 1st of September. Okay, then there is, uh, after that, I went to hospital again for my eczema, so I have a very bad outbreak. So previously for my eczema, right, I only used to have eczema on my hands and legs then. Uh, my eczema progressed even to my like neck or like uh, my stomach, all these things. So uh, it was so bad the day that I couldn't stop scratching. I couldn't sleep. It was very, very, very bad. So I went to get myself hospitalized for one night and then yep. Okay, so managed to claim like a uh, pre-hospitalization, post-hospitalization as well. Okay, so total everything, all the amounts, right? Okay, for this whole year, from June to October, I have so far claimed, uh, I mean, total bills incurred is 23,444.83 lah. Okay, so from my uh, hospitalization shield plan, right, it has uh, paid out 95% of the amount. So this is 95% of the amount. Okay, and then, uh, so basically, like I mentioned, I can claim from uh, corporate solutions, right? So I came from corporate solutions as well, but not all, everything was paid by corporate solutions uh, because they some they reject as more than 19 days and then uh, some they rejected because they claim that uh, corporate solutions has no clinical benefit, okay? This one, they say no clinical benefit, but actually this was the hospitalization doctor, which I was quite disappointed that they rejected my claim, but no worries, it's only $6.48. I didn't lose much. Okay, so then I mentioned how you can actually get money from your hospitalization insurer, right? That's by claiming, okay, corporate solutions. So corporate solutions, when they pay out to you, right, the remaining 5%, right, they also pay out to the shield plan. So when they pay out to the shield plan, right, the shield plan, depending on their policy, they might give you like some token of appreciation. Okay, so I received $300 of token of appreciation and so far because due to some claims still pending or whatever, right? Okay, so far, I only um, fork out $139 out of my own pocket so far. Okay, then the token of appreciation covers this amount. So technically, I am earning from my uh, shield plan. Okay, so let me share with you the letter that they sent me when they sent me this uh, token of appreciation. It was really like just credited directly to my pay now. Okay, so before I show you my letter from um, AIA for the token of appreciation, I'm just going to show you this page that you guys can find on the website. So it's called Claims Recovery. So you can protect your policy benefits with Claims Recovery. So most people are actually covered with an integrated shield plan as well as a health insurance policy from your employers. So it's actually covered until multiple insurer plans. Okay, so actually Health Shield Gomex is not the first payer status to pay out your hospitalization bills, but due to this e-filing system that the government has, right? Okay, so we actually always make the Shield pay first. So if you guys do not claim from your corporate solutions, right? Shield is like losing out. Lah. Okay, so because uh, actually Shield is the last payer status of the Medisafe approved integrated Shield plan. So that's why if you actually uh, make a claim with corporate solution, corporate solution is supposed to reimburse your health Shield plan. Okay, but not the full amount depends on your um, claim limits for your company plan lah. Okay, so receive a hundred dollar token of appreciation when you make a claims recovery. Okay, and then uh, only applicable for claim recovery more than a $250 for a single claim. 
okay and then other than that right you can also um save yeah why seek claims recovery right okay it is to reduce your out-of-pocket expenses as well as to uh never mind like this one not really very important depends on whether you got deductible or co-insurance like so um basically is yeah so it's the minimum to pay back your five percent co-payment and also to preserve your claim limit so as long as corporate solution reimburse back to uh degraded show plans right your claim limits for example is two million a year uh, unlikely you will exceed two million a year lah. but if you really exceed two million a year right it's like uh, they will restore back your claim. Uh, it's like you never claim that amount, lah. So, it, for example, you already claim thirty thousand dollars, but sh uh, your corporate solution pay back them ten thousand dollars. So, uh, integrated shield plan will only treat that you claim twenty thousand dollars so far. So, you preserve your claim limits, okay? And then, uh, depends on whether you are on claim based pricing, it will preserve your claim based pricing, uh, level. And then, AIA has this uh, funny deductible shield, uh, shield waiver pass. So. This one, if you guys don't understand, it's not very important. Okay, so yeah, so it's good to always uh file your your hospitalization claim together with your corporate solutions claim. So okay, so yeah, let me show you guys the letter right now. Okay, so obviously I blocked out uh some details, but anyway, this is the letter from insurer. We you well in health, inform that they recover amount from the group insurer. Okay, credited this amount to my lifetime limit and also paid out. Hundred dollars they are paying now as a token of appreciation. So I earn three hundred dollars from my uh shield plan. Okay, this is one of the letters only lah. So I have three of the exact same letters, and I managed to get three hundred dollars. Okay, so that's all for today's uh topic. Okay, if you guys got any questions, feel free to let me know. And and it's really really very important for you guys to get your shield plan, especially if you need emergency treatment. Okay, emergency treatment is very hard to get in government hospital due to longer waiting time i won't say that there is no waiting time in private there is still waiting time and yeah also if you guys need like a better service lah like for me when i stayed at the private hospital right it really felt like a hospital stay like i had my own bed i had my own toilet it was like um i don't know the whole place really looked like a hotel and it was like very spacious okay that was at uh, mount Faber hospital which i had my uh, eczema um, hospitalization okay so if you guys are interested in like uh, getting hospitalization plan or any other life insurance plan you can feel free to reach out to me as well okay and then uh yeah i wish everyone good health recently really a lot of people are getting cancer it's it's not even like old people it's like people my age yeah my age like 30s 20s okay so yeah uh wish everyone well in health and that's all for today. Thank you, everyone. Okay, I hope I have still have time to make more videos. But honestly, I'm really very busy, so I don't really have time to make more videos. Yeah, I'll try my best. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye. Thank you for supporting me thus far. Bye. -bye.